The peril is that having begun in the Spirit, listen very closely to this, the peril is that having begun in the Spirit, you might turn aside to make some compromise. With Amalek. With Amalek. Now what does Amalek represent? The flesh. The flesh. Because of the hardness of the way. Oh. Right. Oh. Right. How many times? Well, our example, how many times? Example. Example. Because see, Amalek represents the world and the flesh and the devil. Okay. And God called us to a faith walk where we depend solely upon Him. But there have been times when I was ready and willing to compromise. I remember one time we needed tires for our truck, so I went and asked this man if he had any work for me to do because he needed, he needed he had a bunch of furniture that he needed done, uh, glued up and stuff was all bad and repaired. And I knew they had the finances to pay, and we needed three hundred dollars at the time. And he he said he would talk to his wife, but then he didn't give me the work, you know. And so it was like I felt kind of bad about that, but the man did give us the three hundred dollars. God provided what we needed. See. God was keeping me protected. Many times I have uh, tried to go find work or, or thought about going out and working a regular job again when God told me not to. Okay, that's the flesh. See, that's the flesh. It wants to make the way. See, I'm compromising with the flesh because the way is hard. See, I'm, I might turn aside. See, having begun in the Spirit, you might turn aside to make some compromise with Amalek. See, so I'm thinking, well, I just got to help God just a little bit. Okay. And God says, no, no. So so the Spirit now, after growing more and more by walking by faith, I'm able to, to know that's the flesh. That's the devil. Okay, And I resist that. See, I submit to God. Lord, you said you would provide. I submit to you. I'm going outside to cut some wood. Hallelujah. See, you and know, that's what I do. Praise I God. I want to give an example, too. Um, <coughs> the Lord called us, you know, just almost 14 years ago. And he's had us over the years do different things. But the last six years, he has sent us out on this real, more so of a faith walk than we had ever been on before. And he told us to just depend on him for what we had need of, depend on him for any work or anything else that he would bring us. Praise God. What we needed Amen. even in the work. And he does that. And an example of that was the other day, you know, when the Lord uh, sent us out, he, he showed us not to, just to do as unto Him, not even thinking about receiving any money for what we did. Just help people, as He told us to help people. And... I told John the other day, I said, you know, I feel like we've kind of got away from that because of the way people have done us, have done us because right. there's been such a deep uh, knife wound because of things that have happened over the last six years. And we've had to constantly be before the Lord that there be no bitterness or unforgiveness because of the quote-unquote body of Christ um, that does those things. Well, the other day, we had the opportunity to go help a fellow believer, an older man. And I told John, I said, you know, we need to get back to where God had us when we first started out. Well, I woke and up in the morning. I, I was in the flesh. I woke up in the morning in the flesh. And it's just, I was just in the flesh, you know, because I was, I was remembering how people had treated us in the past. And. You know, because people say they don't have this, they they can't do anything, and they're they, they're lying to you. See, and that's what she was talking about earlier, liars. You know, liars in the body of Christ, and and so I started getting in the flesh, and I started judging this person. We were going to go over and help them out. You know, I was judging them before we even left the house. You know, and and boy, the Holy Spirit smote my heart. You know, he smote me, and I had I was sitting outside, and he smote my heart, and I repented, and I said, Father, I submit to you. I spoke it out. I said, Father, I submit to you. I resist you, Satan. You get away from me in Jesus' name. Get away from me. And I did that two or three times. And, and I just prayed. And I felt the peace of God just come over me and flood my soul. And, and uh, we went and did the work. Praise God. And it was wonderful. You know, we had a great time of fellowship. And, we and did it did without and any thought of getting of anything. Receiving. Just doing it as unto the yeah. Lord, you know. And do you know God really met us on that? I mean, the man just. 
handed John a hundred dollar bill. He, I was just like, whoa. Yeah. Because, see, that's what the Lord does. And, you know, sometimes when things happen to us over time, and, and quote unquote Christians are the ones that do it. Right. They're the ones that bring the hurt and the pain, and, and they're the ones that are lying, you know, and everything. And it makes people just believe, man, if, if, Christians are like this, then hey, who wants it, you know? You know, I read a com we read a comment on a video. This is what is really bad, that people bring a burden on people that they cannot bear bear. And he wrote in the comment that, you know, they this is one of Jan's videos and that you can stop sinning. And the guy, it, it just really touched our heart, the comment, because it's new, a new believer. And he was saying, so so if I have to be perfect and I've just started out and I'm just... Uh, I'm still struggling. I'm still it's, struggling. It's that means that I'm, I'm going to hell. And he, and he said, this really sucks, man. And yeah. I'm like, Lord, Lord, how long? How long will you let these people go on doing this to your little sheep? How long will you do it? How long, Lord, how long? And I, I pray, Lord, stop. Stop them in their tracks, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Stop them in their tracks from hurting any more of your little sheep, Lord God. Let this be the day, Lord. Let this be the set time, Lord God. Let there not be another little sheep brought into this web. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 You know, these little sheep, sometimes there are cases that God just, boom, delivers from everything right from the beginning. But that is not the uh, norm. Most people are delivered in stages. Right, progressive progressive stages as they go on working out their salvation. Hallelujah. They are as they yield to the Lord, you know that's really the key. Right, yielding. As we yield to the Amen. Lord, the process can be speeded up somewhat. Amen. You know, and the Lord will bring <clears throat> he'll deliver from a certain thing. Okay, well he's not through because once he delivers from that certain thing, then here's this other thing he'll come up. See, the Lord is not going to give us more than we can even bear in that process. Hallelujah. Because he says that there's things that I couldn't even tell you because you can't bear them. I, I can't show you everything in your heart, okay, the Lord says, because you wouldn't be able to bear it. It would Hallelujah. way, way be Hallelujah. too much more Hallelujah. for you to bear. Praise you, Lord. So I let it come in increments. Says right, the Lord, right. and I I show it to you right. in stages. Hallelujah! And then you yield to me, and I purge it from you. Hallelujah! That's good. You you die to the flesh. Amen. It's take up your cross, die right. daily, as right. Paul said. Right. It's a daily process. Right. Sometimes it's a minute process. Sometimes it's by the second process. But it's die right. daily. Right. Take up your cross. Whatever cross the Lord has us carrying. Praise the Lord. Take it up. Follow me, says the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, in the rest of this it says, The peril is that having begun in the Spirit, you might turn aside to make some compromise. Right, with Amalek. With Amalek. Because of the hardness of the way. The greatness of the cost. There's a cost, y'all. Yeah. There's a cost. Right. To following the Lord, right. and it's all right. John's got to go. Sharon's it's all. Gotta go. We got to get out of the way. Hallelujah. The greatness of the cost, by reason of the conflict, and forgetting God's word, utterly destroy Amalek. Amalek. Walk not after the flesh, but, but after, after the, the spirit. spirit. And you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Right. If you walk after the spirit, see something we have to die to. The, the flesh. Is an enmity with God. It's an enemy of 